Hey everyone, welcome to GunCraft. In this video, we're going to clean this RMR. Alright, so as you can see here, the RMR does tend to collect a bit of dust in an everyday carry gun. Just, hey, it's the nature of the beast, it's glass, and it's going to attract crud. So there are several methods to dealing with how to clean your RMR glass. Trigicon recommends using compressed air and then a standard window cleaner. And I kind of follow that, but uh, with a little bit of variance. I do know that there are specialized optics cleaners. I tend to take the more practical approach. And I use a same cleaner I use for my sunglasses and my prescription glasses. And I also use a product called Cat Crap, which will help uh, defog. So the first thing I do is hit it with compressed air. That's going to knock out a majority of the stuff. As a matter of fact... Um, after compressed air, if you just did that and nothing else, you're probably pretty well set um, for cleaning. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you just check out here, you can see all of that dust is gone. There's still just some sort of, I don't know, some crud buildup uh, around the edges that I want to take care of. But yeah, that's not bad at all. So what I use is this Oakley Lens Cleaner. I... Um, Got it from Oakley, and they refill it as many times as I want for free. So I use Q-tips, and I just dip it in there, and uh, and then I'm going to rub it around the glass and clean that. And so the Oakley cleaner is designed for their sunglasses, which have a variety of coatings, and it doesn't seem to uh, mess with the coatings on the RMR itself. So yeah. So I use a uh, wet side and then I flip it over and then use the dry side and clean it up. And I tend to use a separate Q-tip for the front and the rear. That way I'm not transferring crud from one side to the other, but I don't know. Maybe that's overkill. Uh, later in this video, I will also show you a tip to prevent it from getting nasty, particularly this front side, when you're actually cleaning your gun. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned for that. I'll, uh, I'll get to that here in a second. And then I'll also show you an alternative method for cleaning that a lot of people use. And even Trigicon sells uh, this product. But I don't really use it. I have one, but, uh, but I don't use it on my RMR. By the way, I was just cleaning the emitter there. Um, I just try and uh, make sure I don't forget to uh, clean that off. But you can see already. I mean, the thing is clean. So uh, yeah, I mean, you could technically stop right there. However, like I said, what I do like to do is use uh, this product called Cat Crap, and it's designed, it's an anti-fog for lenses. It's not necessarily an optics product or a gun product. They make it in like a paste, like it's like a chapstick looking stuff, or a liquid. I like the liquid just because I can do the same thing, stick the Q-tip in there, and then, uh, and then apply it that way. Now this is technically a cleaner, I guess, as well as an anti-fog. Um, so you could probably get away with just using it without anything else. I just, I don't know why I do the two-step process. Like I said, it, it might just be overkill. But the, uh, the cat crap, you apply that, and uh, I sort of let it dry just for, uh, you know, a couple minutes. And then I'll go back over with the dry side of the Q-tip and sort of buff everything out. I try and use little circles instead of straight lines. It's kind of hard in that little window. I find myself, you know, getting stuck in a line pattern, but um, the, the more circle-y you can make your strokes, the better. And uh, yeah, hitting the emitter again. So there we go. That is the cleaned product. And as you can see, that's pretty nice. So yeah, I don't do this every time I clean. Actually, I think I might do it every time I clean. Anyway, uh, that's how you clean it. Now, here's an alternative. This is called a lens pen. This is uh, actually a device used in the camera uh, lens cleaning realm. Trigicon also, I think, has a branded version of this. But it's got a graphite like powder side and then that brush side. And uh, it's quite simple. I'm going to demonstrate this on a lens. That's really where I use this. You basically just use the super soft brush and clean off the lens. It's akin to the compressed air, just uh, getting off the big chunks. And then you use the graphite side and, uh, and clean it. It's a dry cleaner, but it does absorb uh, oils. So if you have fingerprints or smudges or things like that, 
this uh, graphite powder will capture that and it works really well actually um, you can see here how it sort of um, grabs hold of crud now I don't necessarily use it on the RMR for any reason other than the fact of just getting access to it as you can see here with my rear sight in front of the RMR I don't really have access I could get to the backside but um, you know it is what it is now this is my pro tip okay I'm not a pro but here's my tip uh, the jellyfish uh, link in the description so this is designed to actually protect your RMR from the elements and you're supposed to be able to see through it and shoot through it although I don't find myself actually doing that what I use this for is when I'm cleaning uh, particularly that breech face I'll get crud uh, like solvent and all that stuff will splatter up on the front face of that RMR screen so by using the jellyfish hey it just keeps that from uh, from getting in there so less to clean later now you could use scotch tape but hey the jellyfish is cool anyway guys that's it I just wanted to show you how I clean my RMR if you have any other suggestions or different advice please feel free to comment below tell us what uh, what you have so anyway guys that's it thanks for watching I'll catch you on the next one